All right, here we are again on card CHF. We uh, we staying into this favor into this monthly fair value gap. We're on a monthly right now. We had a thing into this monthly fair value gap right here, and we are seeing a very big rejection up to the to the upside. So if we are rejecting off of this fair value gap on a the monthly, then our target should be let's not uh let's not over let not let's not over like uh, push push it all right this will be our first target previous the, the um the month high right this month high because this month's already getting to the finish so and our next target will be here so our first target is this high right here and then our second target is this uh this swing high right here so if we go down to the weekly price is looking uh beautifully beautifully bullish right here so if we go down to the weekly um to see if we can get any bullish uh price action we would see that on a weekly we had we have two lines of defense right we have this line of defense we have this line of defense right here and we also have this line of defense right here which is being disrespected beautifully beautifully all right so what we want to see is that we want to see price disrespect in this this uh fair value gap right here with a bullish fair value gap so and this is it happening beautifully price is like trying to create a bullish fair value gap right here we already seen a three pattern the sign of the three pattern we see this one and this is a domino right this is a domino if this um particular price action was uh if this if our target was a little bit far then we would have taken it straight like one to two but taking a one to two right here uh, yeah. I'm taking a one to two right here. Although it's really not a very good domino because this second candle was supposed to be bigger than this first one. But anyways, this is it. This is it. we're waiting for price to create a bullish fair value gap. This one was uh this one is being disrespected right now. So we're waiting for price to create a bullish fair value gap next week. When it does, then we'll be waiting for waiting to see if it will be a fair value gap that can be traded into or a breakaway gap and that will be determined on a lower time frame so right now we are on a monthly and we don't have to do anything right now that's what i think we don't have to do anything right now here but if we have to go down to daily we have to go down to the daily to see uh we'll see that on a daily we on the daily we do not have any fair value gap up here Right, we do not have any fair value gap up here. We do not have any fair value gap uh going higher, continuing higher. We do not. We have we only have this fair value gap down here. We only have this fair value gap down here, continuing higher. That's it. That is the only fair value gap we have continuing lower uh, higher. Sorry. So if uh we want to sorry so if we are looking for a trade on card chf then we should be waiting for price to retrace back down here before continuing higher now when we're looking for your retracement right you should like pay attention pay attention to the retracement it shouldn't it should be a weak retracement back into the zone what i mean by weak retracement is that price shouldn't be creating um favor gaps favor gaps or favor gaps before it comes down here because those favor that have been created are lines of defense price might actually react to those favor gaps and continue lower so you should pay attention if price creates a favor gap it should sting into that favor gap before getting in here right or if you want to wait you should actually you should actually wait for price to disrespect those bearish favor gaps when retracing down here with a bullish fair value gap going higher right before you can then wait for your price to retrace back into your bullish fair value gap to then target this high right here so right now we are seeing prices um price is actually looking bearish right now because it took out this high right here it took out this high right here it swept this high and it's respecting it so if we go down to our four hour let's go down to the four hour see if we have any four hour fair value gap going lower 
uh, right now we do not have any favor for our favor look up going lower but we do have this sweep right here we do have this sweep happening right here we do have this sweep happening right here and this is beautiful this is beautiful guys this is beautiful so we had this for our favor look up going higher price thing into it but failed to continue higher so now what we are waiting for on a four hour on a uh, cut chip is for price to then start creating um for price to then start creating a uh, bearish bearish fair value gaps going lower then sting into it continue lower then sting into it and continue lower that is what we are looking for on cut chf and our first target is our first target should be this low right our first target should be this low and our second target should be this low right here and then our third target now should be this uh favorable gap right here so this is it this is it for cash hf so if you're looking if you're trading this pair you should pay attention pay attention wait wait for those favorable gaps in the four hours to be created it's like all the pairs uh this week are waiting for something anyways guys this is Ojini currencies i do analysis like this every single day across multiple pairs and this is me documenting my trading journey and also learning the process so if you see something here with it which is worth correcting please 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 do not hesitate to correct me if i'm wrong thank you very much and see you next time bye bye